So moving towards our topic, today we are going to discuss the differences between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So first of all, I will tell you that all bacteria have a cell wall composed of peptidoglycan, except mycoplasma, which are only surrounded by a cell membrane. So, gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria both have a cell wall made up of peptidoglycan but in gram-negative bacteria the peptidoglycan cell wall is thin you can see on the screen it's thin but in gram-positive bacteria the peptidoglycan cell wall is thick is thick in gram-negative bacteria gram-negative bacteria contains an, an outer membrane look it contains an outer membrane while in gram-positive bacteria it does not have, have an outer membrane the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria is made up of lipids so the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria contains endotoxin that is lipopolysaccharide LPS so now I will tell you why gram-negative bacteria loses the stain in staining process it is because it has a thin peptidoglycan layer and gram-positive bacteria due to having a thick peptidoglycan layer it retains the stain the purple stain gram positive bacteria contains ticoic acid while ticoic acid is not present in gram negative bacteria gram negative bacteria contains lipopolysaccharide which is not present in gram positive bacteria it also contains Gram-negative bacteria also contains endotoxin, which is not present in gram-positive bacteria. Between inner and outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria, there is a periplasmic space. There is a space in between the periplasmic space, which is not seen in the diagram, but it may lie somewhere here in between. It may lie somewhere here. This is lipoprotein. This is, this is not periplasmic space but somewhere in between here lies a periplasmic space which contains beta lactamases the, the enzymes that degrade beta lactam antibiotics such as penicillin periplasmic space containing beta lactamases also provides gram-negative bacteria resistance against antibiotics. We will move towards gram staining. This is a table about gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria which explains us about the difference between gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. Here in gram-positive bacteria an outer membrane is not present while in gram negative bacteria an outer membrane is present peptidoglycan layer is thick in gram positive bacteria while in gram negative bacteria it is thin lipopolysaccharide is absent in gram positive bacteria while in gram negative bacteria it is present ticoic acids are present in gram positive bacteria but in gram negative bacteria they are absent the enzyme lysozyme which helps in killing the bacteria gram positive bacteria is very sensitive to it it gram positive bacteria is easily killed by lysozyme while gram negative bacteria is very resistant against lysozyme gram positive bacteria is very permeable to most of the antibiotics while gram negative bacteria is impermeable to many antibiotics sporulation 
gram positive bacteria in some of the species it makes spores while gram negative bacteria do not make spores exotoxin production in bo in some of the species of gram positive and gram negative bacteria endotoxin is produced